All right, in this video, I wanted to show how to fine tune a code model on Vertex AI. So I'm in the Vertex AI console here in the Generative AI Studio and the language modality. I'm gonna click on the tuning button up here and then create tune model. So here you can see the two types of tuning you can do in Vertex. The first one is supervised fine tuning, which is what we're gonna do today. This is parameter efficient fine tuning. The second option is reinforcement learning from human feedback. That's a different form of tuning, which I may cover in a future video. So here we need to give our tune model a name. We need to pick the base model to fine tune. In this case, it's going to be code Bison. For train steps and learning rate multiplier, you can check the recommended configurations in the Google Cloud documentation for each type of model. So for code generation and code chat, the recommended configurations are over 500 examples in a data set and between 200 and 1000 training steps. So I'm gonna leave the training steps as 300 and learning rate multiplier as one. Here I need to provide a cloud storage location for storing artifacts. You need to pick an accelerator, whether it's A100 GPUs or TPUs. Note that you may not have this available in a personal GCP account. It would typically have these in an enterprise GCP account set up. So pick an accelerator, a region, and you have a couple of options here that I'm not gonna cover in this video. In the next step, we need to select the tuning data set. So I already have a JSONL file, and this is what it looks like. And you'll find a link to this GitHub repo in the video description. Here basically prepared a very basic fine tuning data set with simple code tasks. And the beginning of every code output here has a comment with a disclaimer that says that the following code was generated by AI. That's basically what I'm fine tuning this model for is to add that comment. So that's something we will be able to test when we have a fine tuned model. But more importantly, I created some utility codes here in a Jupyter notebook, which you're free to use to create your own fine tuning data set without having to write JSONL files directly. So basically you can work with a Google Sheet, such as this one, where you have your input prompts and code output. So you fill in here, try to go at least to 100 examples and create an export as a CSV file and use the CSV file in a notebook which will then help you augment that tuning data set by basically asking Palm, our text foundation model at Google, to generate variants of each of those prompts, basically adding four additional ways of asking the exact same thing by rephrasing the prompts lightly and keeping the same code output. So that is just a simple way of generating more examples. It's not ideal. Ideally, you should generate 500 plus examples that are different in terms of code output and in terms of what the request is. But it is nevertheless a decent way of going from 100 to 500 examples quickly if you are just running a proof of concept and you need to try this out quickly. So hopefully this will be useful. And also down here in the notebook, I have uh, the code to export the results in JSONL, already applying the proper formatting that is expected in the fine tuning data set, and also the code to kick off the fine tuning pipeline, which you can do programmatically through here, or you can just stop here when you have your data set and go back to the console. And from here, you can select the JSONL file and basically continue and start the pipeline from here. I've already done this so I can show you what it looks like 
once the model is fine-tuned you have the option to select them here so this was the name I previously gave that fine-tuned model and now here if I ask a question you can see that it generated a function with the comment that I included in all of my examples so this is basically an example of fine-tuned behavior or a, a customized way of generating code. Very simple example, but it hopefully gives you a sense of what model for fine tuning could be used for. So I hope this video is helpful. Once again, you can find the link to the GitHub repo with all of those resources in the video description. And let me know what you think and what you would like to hear about next. Thank you for watching.